Hello, everybody, and welcome to Honeycomb Parkour. Brought to you by, subscribe to Captain Sparkles 2 and help us get to 1 mil sometime this decade. We got a lot, a lot of stages to work our way through. And the map is, I guess it's inspired by Amir, Kaka, and Helki, who... Oh, we're dropping. We're going in. We're skydiving. Ow, my legs. Let's go. So instead of going vertically, though, we're going through a bunch of different honeycombs. And it reminds me of the MCC to get to the other side map, which I actually usually, you know do fairly well. That's one. That's my favorite one other than when some extremely mean person decides to punch me into the honey blocks and then I can't get out. Which is like, why would you do a thing like that when you could just be a pacifist? Why would you punch me? That's really... Is it timed? Hopefully it's not. It's timed. Here's what was gonna happen there. If I waited around for ages, it was gonna not be timed. Um, if it was timed, it was gonna go as soon as I moved. That's how it works. When MCC, bro, I have I have genuinely no idea. I no idea. I don't have insider information or anything like that. I can't do a uh, a no comment or anything. I literally just don't know. Um, hopefully, hopefully, I like. In order for it to be a meaningful break, my guess is it's gotta be you know gone until probably. April or so otherwise I would say that's a minimum maybe maybe May maybe June they did say they were going to be back in the first half of 2023 right so maybe it'll be like April or May would be my guess if I had to if I was a betting man that's what I oh it goes underground that's fancy oh we're going that way Never mind, maybe there are more stages than I had previously anticipated if we're going underground for some of them. I like I've just gone backwards, everybody. Things are going well for us here. <laughs> uh I like these sort of, you know, stage-driven parkour maps and stuff. I always think they're pretty pretty cool. They just flow. I'm not going to get a world record, but they just flow. Wait, where am I going? Oh, we're going up. Dude, I gotta I gotta figure out some stuff. I I wanna figure out something else to throw in as far as um videos on the main channel. Obviously, folks are enjoying one block. I sense that there's probably gonna start to be like some amount of frick fall off. Like it can't it can't hold its ground forever. And, uh, it's not, like, like, there's been subtle fall-off in between, like, the last ten episodes or so. Still, though, it's doing, like, you know, better than episode two and three did, which was pretty cool. Um, so I want to figure out, like, I'm, I'm planning to keep it going, but at the same time, I also want to figure out, like, on top of just every now and again, when there's a topic to discuss, doing, like, the green screen vlog format, um... Just like, I don't know, do we, do we try to find more maps? What do we, what do we do? What's a thing? What's a thing that could be done to throw in a little bit of extra in-between variety here and there, you know? Just what I am trying to figure out. CTM map? I don't think a CTM map would be something that would be, like, highly watched. Oh, we're going backwards. <laughs> Call of Duty? Yeah, Call of Duty is definitely not going to be very watched. Uh, um, you know, but but Call of Duty, if it ever makes a comeback, pros don't talk shorts, I'll, uh, I'll go give him a call. I'll go give him a call. I still got his phone number. Or I'll, I'll reach out and uh, try, to, try to get him back to uploading the vids and stuff like that. Oh, down we... Was this a mistake? Oh my god, I thought I was going to land before the lava totally receded. Luckily, it receded quicker than my hairline. Although, that's going pretty quickly. Oh, yeah, death swap. That's true. That's true. I should throw some more death swaps in or like a variation. What are like variations of death swap? That's a good idea. But I feel like death swap, I gotta, I gotta throw some twists in. Um, or maybe it's not specifically death swap, like, like some other tweak to it or something. Because death swap obviously... Like, it keeps ending up being that you... I mean, there's obviously the random... The random uh, 
like swapping co-op that I did. Yeah, the co-op swap, Tubbo and, and Iskall. I guess that could be done with more people. The issue with death swap is it does end up becoming like really redundant. You just, it ends up being, you know, the first person to do a lava water bucket trap. And uh, yeah, I think that just becomes, like it was fun the first few times and, you know, switching between the nether and the overworld and stuff is cool, but it does become a wee bit redundant. So I think that, I think having like the co-op swap twists is good, but Yee. Oh, you think you think like a um a competitive one, a race to the dragon version random loot. Um It'd be cool to like do it competitively, but it's just so easy to sabotage the other player if it's swapping, you know? That that's my only concern with it. Um I like the idea of being able to like affect the other player. I don't know. I want to come up with some kind of original concept. That would be really cool. But yeah, I definitely should do. Uh, there's definitely more room in the... Uh, in the. Uh, where am I going? Oh, I'm going over there. There's definitely more room to do some more of the uh, co-op swaps and stuff. Yeah, yeah, you're right. More Minecraft classics. I should do. I should do. I kind of I kind of fell off a little bit on that because... Wrangling people becomes increasingly difficult. The <laughs> I need to, I need to uh, ask Zine to do one. Um, hopefully he'll be willing as long as it's not parkour. <laughs> Throw Zine on uh, on uh, Minecraft. Frick! Oh, that sent me back. Okay. Throw Zine on Minecraft's Edge. <laughs> that would be great fun. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I still, I still have the list of classic maps. Wait, can I jump on top? Oh, that's really cool. That's really swick, dude. Thank you, helpful bees. Bees, you're so helpful. I would never slay you inside of a Minecraft, but the loot drops are randomized. Not even once. Wait, where am I going? I'm going over here, probably. I've never done that before, and I never will ever in the future. Minecraft Dungeons. <laughs> I think Minecraft Dungeons is unfortunately not gonna garner too much audience interest uh, when it comes to the main channel. Sadly for Lego Boss, even though that wasn't Lego Boss who just made that comment. Um, <laughs> it was someone else, but regardless. Yeah, I, I like I like that. Okay, Minecraft Classics. I should I should try to get some more of those going and also like I just got it. If any of you have like ideas, like really thorough thought out ideas for what like twists to death swap or co-op swap, that sort of thing that could be interesting, like by all means, feel free to throw a tweet thread at me and I definitely won't miss it because Twitter definitely properly sends all the tweets into my mentions feed. Oh my God. I so over the past, I don't know when they made the change, like a week ago or something, I start noticing like, I just don't get that many mentions anymore. And like, what's going on? It's like, it looks like it's choosing only certain tweets to uh, send into my, my mentions feed. Previously it'd be, you know, if someone used, if someone did at Frick, if someone did at Frick, if someone did at Captain Sparkles in a tweet, no matter what the case, like, you see it in your mentions. It's kind of the standard, right? That's just how it works. Well, what happens now is the only things that show up in your mentions are if someone, like, without it being a response, like, responses to a tweet that you have made do not show up in your mentions anymore. Like, if I do a tweet and you reply to it, it doesn't show up. You have to actually click on the tweet that you made to see the replies to that tweet. Instead, it's like, if I just from scratch did at Elon Musk, Twitter is broken, and it wasn't in reply to any other tweet, that would show up in notification, in the in the mentions feed. So it's like only that's, or, or if somebody replies to a reply to my tweet, then it'll show up in my mention, the stupidest design, stupidest design. If somebody replies to a reply, then I'll see it. 
Oh my god, bro. Come on. <laughs> uh, so anyway, uh, this has been going on for a week or two, whatever, and I, I, I tweeted today, I was like, you know, what, what happened to actually seeing mentions in our mention feed? People thought I was freaking asking, how do I find my mentions on Twitter? Can somebody give me a tutorial? I don't know where they are. People are like, uh, it's in your notifications tab. I'm like, I don't want to live on this earth anymore. Somebody get me out of here, please. I, I can't. I can't do this. I can't do this anymore. I've had enough. Get me out. I'm done. Okay, I might be a boomer. I might be a boomer. I get it. But that's not what I said. It's not what I was saying. <sighs> uh-huh. Uh, but the way that it was like the way that the way that these tweets came in, like it's under a notification tab. It genuinely made me think that bots were replying to me. That it was some kind of automated reply that was like set up after Twitter implemented the thing in order to, I don't know. Tell people to go look at their mentions and they're still there. But then I look and like these are people who are following me. And so they must be real people who are following me. Right? It's just really weird. I don't know, man. Maybe, maybe what's happened is they already like aren't paying rent on the office. Uh, so maybe the servers are also too expensive now. And so in order to reduce server load and server billing, they're... It's going the mine clearing. Uh, they are making it so that they have to transfer less data by making it so less things show up in people's mentions equals less data equals less cost. Genius! Genius! Maybe that's it. I don't know. <laughs> uh, so, uh, anyway, Twitter's going great. Twitter is definitely going super duper well, and uh, we love it out here. <laughs> oh, man. Hey, we could actually fall into the honey blocks here, like on the MCC to get to the other side. Don't do it. Don't do it. Keep it going smoothly. I feel like it'd be nice if it told you how many stages there were, so I knew like how far into the map I was. Ding dong? Did I do something? Wait. Whoa, it all turned into slime. That's crazy. Oh, God, it's going to be a pain in the butt to go up this, though. No! Oh, you little... F How am I supposed to do it that quickly? Balls? Go faster? Go. You got you to gotta be faster than this. You gotta be fat. How? How? Oh, I think I actually. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait. But hold on. No, I still need it to be slimes in order to be able to get to that. How am I supposed to do it that fast? Holy heck. That's so smart. <laughs> That's so smart, guys. I'm so glad I have you here. I'm so glad that I have you here. Um, did you know that all you have to do in order to find your mentions on Twitter is go to the notifications tab? Because some people probably didn't know that. I'm, I may well have been one of them. I mean, I didn't realize that you can just shoot the bell again, so... Yeah, um... Anyway, hey! We got the snakes going! Here we go! Blue man do be out here. I know we've had those on, like... The other folks, like uh, Amir Kaka and Helki too, so it's not just, it's not an exclusive Blue Man trademarked feature, I don't think. But where am I going? Uh, ah, heck, dude. Bamboo parkour is truly a nightmare. Yeet! That's ball sacks. Uh, am I even going there, or am I going somewhere else? Am I trying to get up? I don't actually know where my objective is. Um, well... Oh, God. Oh, I just missed the chance to tell people to subscribe and click the bell. No, 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 no. The chance was not missed. Make sure... Did you see how I shot the bell there? Make sure that you also shoot the bell on YouTube. Preferably with a bow and arrow as well. Just take it and, like, you know, if your, your PC 
or your, you know, phone, just put it right in front of your bow and arrow and um, just shoot it. Just shoot. Oh, the water. That's so smart, dude. That's so smart. I was trying to do complex bamboo parkour and it was completely unnecessary. If you don't have a bow, then whatever. I guess you can just click it, but I'm preferably, preferably just shoot your device right at the bell. And if you miss the first time, because it's a pretty small target, just shoot it again. And uh, eventually it'll go. For sure. Alright, on to the next one. I Because I saw the iron door, and I was like, oh, we probably have to unlock that with a pressure plate like we have in other parts of the map, you know? It made sense in my head. It made sense in my head. Okay, you you get it. You You clearly understand what's up here is. Oh, we're going over there. But you like your devices? But think of how accurate you'll be at archery if you were to do that, you know? That seems also fairly important. Think about your ability to forage for yourself in a post-apocalyptic world where Twitter has imploded and technology no longer exists. And you'll be like, oh my god, I can, I can forage and I can get food by shooting my uh, freaking bow. Because that's crazy. You see? See, I there is there is a method to my madness here. I haven't done archery in a while, actually. Used to go camping like every six weeks with my dad and well, when I was it would, it would alternate a little bit, but you know, like every few months we'd do a little camping camping weekend and um we do a little bit of, you know, just shoot arrows at a cardboard box or something like that. It was great fun. I mean, this place keeps going a lot. This is a lot more extensive than I thought the map was going to be just based on first glance. Don't judge a book by its cover. Don't judge a map by its blocks. That's a new saying. It's locked. How dare you? Prevent me from accessing the chest. That's so rude. So rude. Huh. Alrighty. Anyway, yeah, so that was all all the, all that tied back into saying if you have any ideas for like a a twist on the death swap co-op swap stuff, um feel free to Wait, oh, we're going over there. If you send me a tweet that's not a response to any other tweets, then I should actually see it in my mentions. So it should actually function, as long as you don't do it as a response to a tweet that I've already done, in which case then I'd have to actually go and make sure to find that tweet and then click on it, browse through the replies, and it would just be annoying. So we did go, we went on a little bit of a tangent, but we, we do that every now and again. And did we win? We won! I, guys, I beat my personal best. I did it. Rank? Ah, oh, balls. I was thinking maybe it was the Michelin star scale. And it was going to be like, you got a three star, like a three star Michelin restaurant's really good. Instead it's, instead it's Yelp. Oof. You see three out of five in the restaurant on Yelp, and you're like, oh, what was wrong with it? Dang. All right. Well, it'll be up to you to defeat me. I'm sure you can do it now that you've watched a run-through. So make sure to like the video, sub to Captain Sparkles 2, help us get to one mil, check the playlist for more maps, and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.